How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Sherlock. This is episode three for those people who are keeping track. Uh, I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to jump into the new case. Last episode, we finished the other um, case with the prey. And this one right here starts us off with we're going yard lawn bowling, I guess. So, hey, let's do it. This suit isn't appropriate. Ah, the suit's not appropriate. Denied. All right, let's get over here. Mr. Holmes, you played very well yesterday. I'm obliged to you, Sir Charles. I play many outdoor sports. That's the key to my success. My friend Dr. Watson has decided to join me. Really? Mr. Holmes, would you like to see the first prize? A rare stone Mayan Kiche calendar. Mayan Kiche? Indeed. Their legendary king, Tekun Uman, has his statue just behind you. Although this one is a cast metal copy. That? Oh. <laughs> well, since only members may enter the clubhouse, we have exhibited the calendar outside. Please, explore. Mm-hmm. Please, explore. Let me go Good hobnob luck, over here. Ah, uh, nah, you're, you're, you're not one for hobnobbing. All the right. statue of Takun Uman. What a beautiful day for November. Yes, quite. Let's see. Here I is walking on your playing field. Mm-hmm. Mmm, food. This will keep Watson happy. Yes. Ah, Mr. Holmes, are you ready to begin the final game? Final game? Sure. Yes. Let's start the final. Beat your opponent by landing bowls as close as possible to the white marker bowl. Okay. I can do this. <sighs> it was an excellent game, Mr. Holmes. But Arthur always wins. The award ceremony for the first three places will be tomorrow morning. I hope to see you both then. Unfortunately, I'll be unable to attend tomorrow. Duty calls. Ah. But at least you know the club now. Let's go home. That's it? Attend the award ceremony. All right, all right, all right. Got to get out of this stupid monkey suit anyway. Fleet and panic. No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I lost. Run, run away. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Hello, Mr. Bouvier. Hello, Mr. Holmes. Well, Caitlin? <laughs> Your costume. <laughs> oh, don't you like it? Oh, I do. <laughs> Caitlin, come on. Show some respect for your father. Let's see. X. Validate observation. Yeah. No, oh, imprecise? Imprecise? No! Ugh. I done messed that one up. Charcoal. You know, Father, Miss Alice was telling me all about her travels. She has already toured the world with her own father. Your daughter is exquisite. And just to think that she was aboard the Orient Express when it was attacked. <gasps> what a dream. Indeed. She's so creative and imaginative. And that reminds me, would you allow Caitlin to visit me so that she can practice playing the piano? Uh, refuse Kate's education. Blame piano music. Refuse harshly. What a poor choice of instruments. I hate the piano. I'd rather her not. Oh, Father, why did you say that? Caitlin, we are neighbors. We'll meet again. Until then, I shall leave you with this book. Thank you, Miss Adventure Alice. of the Empty House. Okay. The next morning. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, what? No, 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 no. That monkey suit won't do. Casual suit. No. Yes, overcoat. And apparently I shaved. I guess I don't like the soul patch. Okay. There's a note over here. Sherlock Holmes, it's Dr. Reuben Fisher. Do you remember me? Well, you are a sorry excuse for a detective. Thank you! You failed to understand why any of it was done. 
We chose the lesser evil for a great, greater, brighter future. We needed to sacrifice a few to help the majority. You'll remember these words one day. Sincerely, Dr. Reuben Fisher. Yeah, well, screw you too! Continue. The statue did it. It killed Zacharias. Calm yourself now, Sir Charles. You've had a shock. Let the police do their duty. Oh, what can a mere inspector like you do about it? You don't know anything. A mere inspector? Tchah. And now here comes Mr. Holmes. Lestrade, are you here to receive a prize as well? <laughs> Very amusing, Holmes. You can go home. The ceremony's been cancelled. We've got a murder scene here. Really? And to think I only came here for my prize. I know, Holmes. I saw your name on the list of finalists. So go away. <laughs> You're not going to congratulate me. What? Do you really think I'm that naive? You turning up out of the blue and then bam, a murder? There's a surprise. Oh, you're making a spectacle of yourself, Lestrade. Let's just pretend that I'm a simple uh, consultant, your humble assistant. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. What do you make of the facts? It's quite clear. The murderer intended to steal the Mayan calendar. He was caught by Zacharias Greystoke. He then took up the first weapon that came to hand, the statue spear, and killed Greystoke. Then he fled, just as Sir Charles was coming out of the club. Unfortunately, we've been unable to find any trail beyond the club's wall. It's as if the murderer vanished into thin air. Well, take a look for yourself. You're still here. No. The statue of Takun Uman. The iron mounting rod is broken. Traces of metal on stone. The surface is damaged. Looks like it was ripped free. Okay. Traces of metal on stone. It looks like the statue broke away from its pedestal. Yes. Was... A piece of the statue's mounting rod. Pieces from the pedestal. Okay. The case is scratched and dented. Tissot watch, Swiss, 1855. This watch is valuable and old. It's been through a great deal. Zacharias's folder with some documents. These drawings represent the Mayan symbols. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Money was left inside the wallet. Wasn't interested in money. Dry leaves. They make a noise. Zacharias probably walked across them. All valuables were left on the victim. The strike was powerful and well aimed. Let me get over there real quick. Scratches on the stone. Okay. A broken branch. Somebody jumped into the tree and then over the wall. What do you got, Lestrade? And what about the statue? No idea yet. I imagine a thief must have taken it somehow. Hmm. Right. So there were thieves, and they were very well equipped? Yes, must have been. But then there's also Sir Charles's version, but... Uh... Please, go on. He said this morning that he was alone at his desk when he heard a shout. He went outside and saw Greystoke lying on the ground, and... 
Believe it or not, he said that there was no one else on the green that night but the statue itself running away. <laughs> you mean that the statue might have killed the victim? Interesting. Absurd, more like. Besides, it was dark and foggy. So, somewhat like your version, then. Did you search the clubhouse? What for? The murder took place outside. <laughs> okay. You're still here. No, I'm not. Alright, who's this dude? Sir Charles, are you able <clears throat> to tell me in detail what happened? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Well, to prepare for the awards ceremony, I decided to spend the night here at the club. I was sitting alone at my desk when I suddenly heard a loud, metallic sound and a terrible shout. I hurried outside and... and... Well, I found the body of Zacharias. And I swear it, I saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away. Alright, let's see what we can find on this dude. Precious stones, poor quality. Ooh, poor quality. Okay, so he's putting on a show. Okay. Pretty dirty dude. What's that? Okay. Badge, ex military, okay. Oh, hold on. Ring, married, okay, gotcha. No. What's this? What's this? Yes. Uh, politically active decoration. I'm this politically act active, right? What's this? Socially active, simple flyer. Let's go socially active. Alright, so yeah, Thaladite. Yes! Character portrait complete. Gotcha! Alright. Okay, and I nailed that one, unlike the woman. This appears to be rich, but his wealth is superficial. Yes. Potentially, or politically engaged with the Tory party and seems to have an active social life. Yes. Okay. You saw the statue running. You saw the statue running. That's what I said. It, it was dark, but yes, I'm sure of it. It was running, and it was making the most horrible metal sound as it did so. And can't you see? The pedestal is now empty. Did you know the victim? Yes, of course. It was Zacharias Greystoke. He is... was a club member and an excellent bowler. But why was he here so early in the morning? Oh, I don't know. Sir Charles, where did the Mayan calendar come from? It was donated anonymously. We received it shortly before the tournament with a letter asking that it be awarded to the winner. Is the calendar valuable? Oh, not really. It has historical value, of course. But to be truthful with you, Mr. Holmes, it isn't worth very much. May I go in the clubhouse? It's members only. I cannot authorize anyone unless that person has a written warrant from the police. So I need a warrant. Okay, well, let's take a look around out here. Yeah, I'm not thinking there's anything there. Um, suit of armor with, uh, pretended to be statue, is that it? Okay. Statue throw spear. Okay. It looks as if Zacharias was killed the moment he approached the calendar, and killed by the spear from Takun Uman's statue that jumped from its stand and escaped over the wall. 
Kitchen. Well, Holmes, your conclusions as my consultant? My conclusions are approximate to Sir Charles's testimony. <laughs> oh dear, you think the statue did it? Everything points to the fact that the spear was thrown from the pedestal, and Mr. Greystoke appeared not to notice the killer. <laughs> Indeed. The journalists will be ecstatic about your version. <laughs> I would like to examine the victim and take a look at his belongings. Oh, you've amused me at least, Mr. Holmes. Very well. I'll grant you authorization for the examination at Scotland Yard, but nothing more. Examine evidence. Okay. Scotland Yard, okay. Okay. Scotland Yard it is. It's a bit odd. This is an interesting case. I'm kind of enjoying this one. Thank you for coming already. so quickly, Watson. Lestrade already has the victim's body in the autopsy room. I'm always ready to help anytime, Holmes. I'm always ready to help anytime, Holmes. Where is this instinct? Mr. Holmes? Hey, firearms. What do we got here? Anything cool? This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Tissot watch. Swiss. 1855. Yes. An ordinary pencil. Money was left inside the wallet. Oh, Zacharias had already translated some symbols. I need to take a look at those symbols. The Mayan calendar. Here's a chance to have a closer look. Interesting. What are the symbols here? I'll need to redraw them. I could use this dictionary to translate the calendar's glyphs. Okay. They are the symbols that were drawn on the Mayan calendar. The papers from Zacharias's folder. They can help us to translate the Mayan message. They will meet their death by the risen statue. Only the chosen will have mercy. It's and that works. It's not only a calendar, it's a curse. Zacharias Greystoke, a member of the club, was killed as the curse decreed. All right. Okay, well... I'm gonna go with him lying for now. Because how could the thing run? I think he wanted it and he ripped it out off the thing. But that's just me. Alright. I'm probably wrong and I can always change it later. And that's the important part. Alright, so let's get over here. Ah, autopsy time. Hmm, yes. It was a powerful throw. The spear pierced right through the body. <clears throat> Traces of alcohol were found in the stomach. Apparently, Zacharias had been drinking before his death. The coroner mentions in his report some specific cardiac and digestive system damage. Cardiac and digestive system damage? Was he poisoned? And bludgeoned? Red eye. It looks like a serious infection. Huh. This is where the spear entered the body. The murderer aimed for the heart. The weapon must have been thrown by a strong and skilled person. It's possible that the link between Zacharias and the curse is at the archaeological club. I'll need a search warrant. 
Yes. These scars are old. Okay. Moving on. Hey. All right. We'll need to get a search warrant to investigate the club. Yes. I figured that out as well. Thank you. Moving on. Aren't you supposed to be investigating those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a small favor to ask of you, a search warrant to investigate the murder at the club. No, no, and no. Red eyes, liver spots, lack of sleep. Um, let's see. Ink on collar. Uh, that looks like wine, not blood. Might be blood, though. I mean, blood tends to... Dry, but it wouldn't dry purple. Nothing. There we go. Ooh, woman's handkerchief. Okay. Over unwell. Well, he has woman's perfume, dried wine on his collar. Hangover. Yeah. Since I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. No, it's not what you think. Nothing dishonorable happened. Go on then, take your warrant. <laughs> so, he refused to give you the search warrant? <laughs> Oh no, I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later. I'm curious to know how you obtained this warrant. Well, it was a simple case of, uh, I don't want to say blackmail or manipulation, but yeah, it was neither of those things, really. I swear. <laughs> that was cool. I like that. Hey, and that's going to do it for this episode, episode three. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to work on getting, uh, figuring out what happened with that statue. I mean, I'm not sure what happened, but hey, you know what? It promises to be pretty dang cool. All right, so uh, until next time, uh, take it easy.